Hey guys and welcome to the channel, my name is Matt and today I want to talk about the latest updates to the uh, pirate themed trading card game that we're currently making. Now I haven't posted since Friday I believe and that is because I worked over the weekend and yesterday I didn't get around to it and then today I worked this morning so I'm doing that video now. Um, although I have been working I have also been getting a couple of hours in each day to work on the game and <laughs> uh, it's it's going well and I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying it at the moment the, the the process is going very very well now what does that include well as you can see it includes some play testing um, some tweaking of the rules we had to change a few things here and there but apart from that that's just sort of you know, uh, nitpicky rules definition stuff which is vitally important if you are creating a card or board game but it's not um, it's not damning you know once you play your game if you realize oh I don't like this bit or I think this bit should be changed then you just change it you know uh, for example I found out that the renown system that I have in place for the game it as it was didn't really see play so I've changed the card values so that now uh, Renown is much more useful and you can use that as an alternative currency instead of coins and I think it's gonna really change the game being able to use a lot more of your cards and being able to play a lot more and talking of cards um, yeah when I got the first prototype printed on Friday we had 88 cards. We had 38 crew cards, uh, I believe 20 ship upgrade cards, and then an additional 30 instant cards. Yeah, we are now at 50 crew cards, 50 instant cards, and 50 ship upgrade cards. We have hit 150 cards for the game, and yeah oh yeah yeah it's good <laughs> um so that is that is where we're at we're at a point now where i want to play the game as much as i can to refine those rules down um i want to check over all the cards you know get a good play test with each of them and, and see which ones i want to change and which ones i'm happy as they are and then it's sort of just progressing more cards more art better design that sort of thing now i'm not ignoring uh, a comment i got yesterday i believe that asked me to show you guys how to make cards and data sets and things like that in free programs and i have been looking for some there are a couple of card game making websites but they're a little bit yeah a little bit sketchy <laughs> and i'm not sure if we're going to use them or not i might just go back to the old-fashioned open office um excel like thing uh, is it is it open office spreadsheets i can't remember i don't really use it but we'll use it and then open office draw we'll combine the two to make our cards in terms of this game in terms of the pirate game i want to show you what the card difference looks like so on your screen now is the 88 card deck for the for the first set of cards that we made and that's 150 <laughs> there's there's obviously almost double the cards and it's it's quite impressive i i'm quite impressed by my my uh my new deck <laughs> um included in the changes is something that i think a lot of game designers out there should think of especially if you're new to creating games and new to creating um card or visual games um, things where iconography isn't necessarily used where colors are used or where you know the overlays are used and that is um, consideration for people with any form of color blindness now in my game the coin symbol as you can see at the very bottom of your screen there the, the discard pile that I have the coins are yellow and um, renown is a sort of silvery gray now that's fine for me i'm i i can see all colors so that works fine for me 
It works fine for red-green colourblind people as well. However, fully colourblind people that just see in shades of grey can only see two different shades of grey, and people with blue, blue-green, blue-yellow, yellow-blue, one of those, colourblindness, colourblindness? You know what I mean. Um, they also see that yellow as a shade of grey. So to avoid any sort of confusion on that, I have put a very small circular dot on the um, on the renown card side, so that you can always tell which one is renown and which one is coin. It's just a little something. It's nothing major, but I think that if you're creating your own trading card game or board game, that it's definitely something to consider. Either use symbols or use a little indicator like I have, um, just just so that everyone can enjoy the game. You know. In terms of how the game itself plays, I'm quite happy with where it is at the moment. It still needs tweaking. Um, the battle phase definitely needs ironing out, but I've added, like I said, a ton more ship upgrades and they should help balance things out a bit, make things a bit more uh, fluid, make it so that it's not, you know, very sort of, okay, so you shoot me and I take damage and now I can't do anything. So there, there's more, um, more ebb and flow, more give and take, that sort of thing. <laughs> I am considering committing the cardinal sin, and that is getting artwork made for the game. I don't mean fully finished, painted background sort of artwork, but there are some pretty awesome illustrators out there that can make you know, sketches with base grey colouring that look awesome and I know for a fact that I can't sell the game, or I can't, as an idea, not just you know, for money, uh, I can't sell the game to you guys without artwork and without there being visuals. So I might bite the bullet on that one. So let me know if that's something that we would want to see, because <laughs> it gets very expensive. <laughs> but I know that it'll be worth it. So it's something that's got to be done eventually, but does it have to be done now? Eh, maybe not, but we can decide together. So yeah, that's everything that I wanted to discuss in this video, just a quick update. I say quick, it's almost 10 minutes. Just an update on how things have been going with the game and where they're headed and what I intend to do next. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, queries, comments, anything like that, leave them in the comments below. And I'll get to all of them if I can. Again, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.